Hello everybody, really TCG here. Today I'll be doing a deck profile on Vespa Queen, uh, Vileplume. Um, a lot of people, this deck has been hyped up. Um, I knew, I know, um, Andrew Wambold, um, he piloted this deck to, um, in cities and won a bunch of them, um, along with a couple of his friends, I guess. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to, I built it and decided to make a couple changes, um, and see how it does. So, um... First of all, um, you guys can go to, um, see his um, deck profile. It's it's pretty sure it's on Team Fish Knuckles' um, channel somewhere because I think he did a video on it. But um, this is what I made the changes about. Um, I decided to make a couple changes to the deck, so I I decided to add an Entei because um, I just don't like automatically losing to decks, and this completely gets destroyed by Aegis Slash. If there's an Aegis Slash in the deck, it's like an auto loss, because you all run, they just didn't run any basic energies, I also had 3 fire. Um, they, they, all they ran were dust DCs, so I just don't, I, like I said, I don't really like auto losing. You can also use the fire energies, um, on the Vesper Queens, just in case. I also added a Super Rod, because... In case you accidentally discard like a gloom or an important vile plume by accident, or you have the sycamore, then you have a way out to get it back, so you don't automatically not get the item lock. You can use um, the bundle bee for that, but then you have to waste an attachment, and you basically have to waste your whole turn. So bundle bee is really in there here for um, in case you're about to deck out, um, so you don't lose basically. The fire energy are also good for Bumblebee, so you don't, um, like I said, so you can, you don't have to waste a DC on it. Uh, I've, I've had some scenarios where I'm having the Sky Return with Shamans to attack, and I ran out of attackers, so, so I think the Entei can also help for that reason. I definitely do not want to use Burning Rook. Uh, well, I don't know. It's not going to attach any energies. I only run three. It's just probably going to deck me out. I and mean, Leaf's worst case scenario, I can try it, but it's not probably gonna happen. Um, there, I run three Shaman. I took out a Shaman because um, I don't. I didn't feel like I needed four. Uh, it wasn't really that necessary. I, I didn't think so. I didn't. I just only had three. Most of the time, you only want to bench two. If case one surprise, I run the extra. End. If you have uh, three on the bench, then it clutters up your bench because then you can only put like a vile plume and another comb an extra combi, but then you have no room to use unknowns or bundle B. So I just like the three. I took out a bunch of acro bikes because I feel like that's really risky. Like if you have like an option between two DCs or a vile plume and it's like your last vile plume in an energy, I just don't like that. So I just, that's part of the reason. Uh, I took it out. Four and noon are really good. It just lets you draw a card, and it knocks itself out, but they don't take your prize card for it. And it's really good because it powers up Vest Queen's attack. So uh, I run no, not actually four uh, Balance Presser for obvious reasons. Two level ball. Just I took. I don't remember how many level ball. It might have just been two, because you it can help get the Vest Queen, but then you you need the Ultra Balls to get out the. Bio plume, the Entes, the Shamans, you know, so you sort of want that. I talked about the Super Rider already. Four Trainers Mail just to get those important, like, Float Stone. You definitely need Float Stone. Because if they lie Sandra out your Gloom, you're done. I mean, your Bio plume, you're done. Because you have to touch three energies, and at that point, it's just, it's just stink. So, uh, four Ultra Balls to get out the Entes, the Shamans, um, and the Bio plume. Uh, one Professor Birch because I run this because I don't want to automatically deck out. This can help in the last case scenario so that you can uh, save yourself by not decking yourself out. I don't want to run VS Seeker because late game you're not even going to be able to play the, uh, VS Seeker because you're probably going to have the out. But the Birch, there's always that chance that you could be, um, instead of using, you won't have to discard valuable resources with the Birch. Plus, it can just be good um, early, uh, early game, I guess, too. It's in case you have like a really like three vile booms in hand or something like that. I only run three force of giant plants because most of the time you get it with trainer's mail and running four is just cluttering the deck, I feel. Like if there's better resources you could put in. Maybe you could take out a trainer's mail and add a 
forest giant plants, but I feel like I get the forest giant the plants out like fast anyways. Two floatstone because you need to get this on the vial plume or else or the glue oddish or the gloom because if you don't they just lie sander it out and you have to attach a DC and a fire to get out of the of the active, which is wasting a ton of resources. Four DCs because um to attack with uh Vesper Queen and Sky Return with Shaman, which can actually come in handy sometimes, Sky Return with Shaman. To get those like last, like if you miss the damage, by say I've I've done it once where I did 150 damage with Vespa Queen and died, and then I Sky Return with Shaman for the last 30 to knock out an EX. It it sometimes actually works. I ran three fire, so yeah, last thing I ran three fire for the anti I said that. So yeah, let's just I think save and let's get into a match because this is a pretty good deck. Let's see who we're facing. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're facing all psychic deck. Okay, this could be Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo. Oh, we get to call a coin club. I'm so bad at this, but it's okay. I, I, I'm feeling Tails. Come on, Tails. Tails never. Okay, Tails always fails apparently. So they will go first, probably, most likely. Yeah, they'll go first. Um, let's see. As long as I get it, okay, now they know exactly what I'm playing. Ugh, that was like a bad hand. Now they know exactly. This is fire energy will throw them off, I guess. I don't know. Like, this is a terrible hand for them to see because it gives away the whole deck pretty much. Uh, I'll place down this and the unknown just in case it's like Gladios and you just kill me. You concede? What? Okay, well. We're doing another match. That was okay. It was not even a match. <laughs> that, that was. That was something. At least I'm getting up the ladder now. The new ladder, the Dialga. Oh, here, I'll show you guys. Come on. Let me scroll. The. Here, this is the thing that everybody wants to get the full art Birch. Yeah. Because. Birch is using so many decks. They should have a full art Sycamore. They reprinted full art. They got a full art new, another full art Skylight, and then they don't even make a full art Sycamore. They reprint Tierno too. Are you, like, instead of making a good supporter, I have no idea what Pokemon's doing. Reprint and if you're gonna reprint Skylight, like literally. Well, I call a coin flip. I lost again. Wow. <laughs> like literally, Pokemon hates me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll start Oddish because uh, Oddish I probably would want to dedicate a float stone to. I don't really want to start. I'll put the odd this down in case it's Lattice. Squablu. This this I'm guessing is Mega Rayquaza. That's my guess. Got a professor. We can I guess we'll check see now because I know a lot of they run. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Mega Rayquaza runs Squablu and Altaria for weakness. Deal with weakness like Mega Manetric knocking out a uh, Mega Rayquaza in one shot. So let's see. What, what, what did they discard? Look like like a Judge Bridget. Bridget. I mean that could be Mega Rayquaza, but most of the time they would wanna they run EX and stuff. Ooh, they're judging me. Oh, Bridget. Okay, let's see what they are playing hopefully we can tell oh knocked out like and vile well well if this is bad if he gets out the turn on vile plume this hurts me oh, okay. okay okay he gets like nothing which is really good for me okay let's get out first let's get the uh combi let's get a combi Oh, so need to set up. Let's battle compress. We'll attach the DC. We don't need to attach. Oh, I don't know. I'll just save it for now. Uh, battle compress. Discarding like all our oddish because we don't need to oddish. All right. Let's see what's in the deck. We have a vile plume, a gloom. Uh, vile plume, two vile plume, a two gloom. Um, three gloom. Three vile plume, okay, and then I think one gloom is prize. I think no, none of the oddish are. So just card all of them because I have an oddish already out. Um, okay, this is 
really risky. Okay. Okay, please give me a sycamore or something. Acrobike. Oh my gosh. One acrobike. Let's see. Oh, we have an unknown we can use, but that's really risky. Forest of giant plants. Or battle professor. Ugh. Okay, well. At this point, battle professor is more important because forest giant plants. I don't know. Because I can. I have the vile point in my hand. I don't need to evolve right now. I don't even have free retreat on the odd. So. I'm gonna discard our unknowns because if you, I don't have any of the glooms out. I might discard the gloom. I'll just discard all. Our, I'll discard one gloom. And then YOLO unknown. Come on, unknown. Sick of one. I'm feeling it. Oh my gosh. Trainer's mail. Oh, baby. Okay, this is. Okay, that unknown is like the savior. Okay. I had a terrible start. I have to discard the best queen, but like I said, um, I have run one super run. I probably should have checked if that was in the deck. I have the turn. I okay. Yes, I do have the item lock, but I do not have the float stone. <sighs> it's risky. Okay, let's discard. Mm, okay, let's discard this gloom. This gloom, and then the unknown. The last unknown. So I know it's in there. Okay. Now. We evolve this, okay? This. And I think we Ultra Ball for Shaman. Let's do it. We need the Shaman. We have the two more Bioplumes, so we should be fine. Because we need the Flow Stone. If we item lock come out the Flow Stone, it's easy. Um. He just lies and it up and we're screwed. Okay, we got the flow stone. Okay, and we I think we have a decent amount in this card. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 140 with the extra B. Okay, um, I think we have, we're good. So, yep, we're, we just, we probably want another comb B, but that's okay for now. We'll just knock out a squab blue, I guess. And, okay. Do we intelligent scaldering or not? Or do we go aggressive? How many cards? We need a supporter or we need something to get another Kongi. I'm, I'm really nervous that uh, we're not gonna be able to get another flipping. Do we need to go on the offensive? This isn't a threat at all. I. Th uh, this is a hard choice. I, I think I'm just going to go with the Intelligence Gathering. I don't want to deck myself out, though. How many? He has tons of cards. We'll be revenge this turn. And we'll see what he can do next turn. And then that will decide if we need to. I don't think he'll be able to get knocked out. We definitely did not need that. Hmm. Oh, I, I thought of a play I could have done. I now I thought of it now. Wow, I could have intelligence gathering and then retreated and sky return with shaman to knock it out. But okay, well I think I'm gonna. Oh, he doesn't have anything. You can't play that. Let's just keep the DC in hand. Mm, I feel like in. No, intelligent gathering is too risky. Yeah. Um, um, what I can do if he evolves this and knocks me out. Um, oh, there's a combi, that's good. I will we'll sky return, put up the bioplume, and then try it if he cannot. I don't think he can be able to knock out the bioplume. Okay, never mind, now I can't do that. And I, what? What did I even do? He, well, I obviously couldn't have done that before this turn. I'll play the column B down. DC. 
Now he has no threats on the board. This is good. All, now he's going to have to promote the Oddish, and if he doesn't get a basic, I win. Yep, he concedes. <sighs> His deck is really good. Oh, we'll, we'll do another match. I really want that birch. I want to see if this Entei will go into play. It's 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 only there for Age Slash because it's Age Slash is weak to fire, so it like I think it is. Oh, if it's not, oh my gosh, I probably should have checked that. But even if it's not, you it's still a uh, good attacker. Um, another backup attack you can use, and I and it and it helps with uh, Jirachi too. Jirachi is really annoying. Online though, a lot of people don't have Jirachi. I have a Jirachi on online, but most people don't because you can only get it for a limited time. Which Pokemon probably should do another print of them because a lot of people can't couldn't get it, um, and they didn't realize how rare it was gonna be and good. I I lost a coin flip three times in a row. Like Pokemon, Pokemon, you need to fix this. No, no, but seriously, I lose a coin flip so many times. Let's see. Looks like they're going first. Okay. Which sort of stinks, but whatever. If they get Latios, I swear. Like, <laughs> I'm not putting down the shame. So, I didn't check what type it was. If it's actually Dragon, I will be mad. I don't think it was, though. Okay, my opponent's trying to decide what basic Pokemon. No, definitely not putting that on my bench. And, oh, is it a mirror? Oh, snap, if it's the mirror, I'm, this is bad because he's going first. So he, if he gets the item lock first, then I lose. It doesn't look like it's a mirror. I think I saw a Celebi. I think it's just a just plain old Vesper Queen. Which is actually, eh, it sort of stinks because I would have been able, he would have been not been able to do anything. I think if I would have went first, I would have won. Because all he would have had, unless he has a Sycamore in hand right now. Let's see, is that a more? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I don't know if I would have won, but still. Ugh, he wouldn't have been able to get so many things. He's probably gonna get a lot of things to discard. I think he already has. All he needs is, mm, that's, so he has three basically in the discard. That's 50 damage, so he needs four more. Okay, he needs three more in the discard. Let's see what he can do. Which is only one battle capacitor. If he doesn't, what? Okay, I'm confused. A fairy energy. Is this some kind of like aromatis Vespa Queen? I've never heard of this. My Lodic. I know it's it's my Lodic, but why fairy energies? Maybe it's just like maybe he didn't. He, that's just the energy he chose. But I mean, why not grass them? Because then you could bug bite. You know, like if you're not running any fairies, you might as well run grass. Okay, whatever. He did not get that much done. So 10, 20, 30, 40, how much is he gonna do? 50, 60, 70, 90. So that's exactly enough to knock out a flippin' Vesper Queen. Okay. Like I think I can donk this combi though, which is good. And I am going to discard. Hum. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I'll discard the gloom and the birch or the sycamore and then the birch because I wanna and we'll get a oddish out okay I c I'm thinking about super running it back in just to get the shame anymore you know what no I'm, I'm not gonna do that it's not worth it playing the super run um, okay. I might play the Super Rod this time, though. No. Battle Pressure is what I want, okay? Battle Pressure. Let's get rid of all the Oddishes, and if there's not three Oddish, then I'll get rid of, uh, an unknown. So, let's see. Uh, Oddish, 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 Oddish 1, Oddish 2, and, okay, I'll discard an unknown. Unknown. Unknown, whichever you want. Uh, let's do. Super oh no, Super Rod makes you. Oh, I messed up. 
whatever. I forgot Super Rod makes you shuffle in, so I'd have to shuffle in all of them. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't think the Entei is necessary. Um, I think I'm fine. I'll just stick more. Yeah, okay. Hoping for the Force Giant plans, and there we go. In the best, okay. This is pretty good. I think I have it. Ugh. Okay. How many Pokemon do I have in this card? 10, 20, 30, 40. I need at least 50, 60. Need one more. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think. Okay, this is. I'm gonna discard the Battle Impressor because I think I need to keep it. So. Wait, let's do the math. Okay, if I play the Ultra Ball, one, two, then I'll have, and to get the best between, okay, then I'll have left, um, one, two, three cards, and then I could Shaman. I don't even know if the Shaman's in the deck, though. But then I need the Gloom. I don't know. We'll just see. Oh, we're just for the back presser. Okay. Let's count what we have. We have two Vesper Queen, three Vesper Queen left, and one Combi left. Okay, that's not good. But then two, okay, so I we had all four of everything. I'm going to get the Vesper Queen. Okay. The Shaman is in there. And then I can knock him out. And then I could... Then I don't get the Gloom. Then I don't get the item lock. But is the item lock necessary? Hmm. Do I shame in for six? You know what? I should have checked what was in the deck. Oh, wait, let's count. One gloom is gone. Yeah, it should be hollow, right? But then that's the only. Of I can't. Mm, no, I need to keep it. I'm just gonna put the combi down and. Because the next turn I can discard that. I don't want to discard the combi, it's too risky. So, be revenge for 90. Let's see what he can do. Sycamore. Okay, never mind. I got a supporter. So let's see what he does. He is in a bad spot. But I think uh, if he if he gets the fair energy vest between, I could be in a bad spot also, though. Hmm. I'm in a sycamore, but then I can I can dig really hard. Okay, so all I have to do next turn draw a card, discard that, and then shame, use the shame in and try to get the best between and the DC. And then if I don't get there, then sycamore and then get it. But then I'm like low on cards because I have to be five cards gone. Secret Ash, what? Okay, he just lost the game. What is he doing? What? I have never seen a Vespa Queen player done, do that before. What in this hap What in the world is happening? Okay, yeah. Even if you battle rush her now, you just did thirty and then sixty, eighty. He needs another one in this card. What? Easy on the shaman. Oh my gosh, I I'm just confused. He's probably gonna knock me out, but what was the point of that? Of the sacred ash that it just still is mind boggling, but whatever. Does he have the fairy? Dun, 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 dun. Memory. Wow, okay, so he's obviously not set up. So, <sighs> acrobatic's not worth it, or is it because I could get the gloom right now? 10, 20, 30. He did shuffle in the unknowns, so that could be easy discards that you could get but I'm right now he can't knock me out even if he has the energy so should I item lock him and force him not to be able to play any more battle pressers but how many battle pressers do he even have left one two he has two left um I think I'm just gonna shame it hmm okay. how many cards so I'll do five twenty thirteen okay you know what yeah I'm not even close to being far into my deck yet so, Shaman won't be that devastating. 
at this point. I don't think it will be. Because I need another one set up or else um, he's going to have... Okay, I have another one set up, That's so that's good. I'm not going to put the DC down yet because in case he like discards this one, I'm a little nervous of that. Bloom. I think I'm doing enough damage. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80. Wait, did I count that wrong? Let's make sure. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, 100. Oh, I want to knock out Shame in one shot, so I'm going to discard one more Pokemon. Let's see what it could be. Um, an unknown. Just to get that Shame. Okay. And I'm just going to hold and knock out this. And now he's in a bad situation. I don't want to Sycamore to get, the, even though I probably would get the Vile Plume, it's too risky. Because if I Sycamore, it's and then I get down to 12 cards, then and I don't get what I need, then I lose. Because, um, I mean not lose, but I can deck out very easily. I want him to deck out before me is pretty much my goal. And he's Sycamore, so he'll have yeah less cards left because he has 18 now. Yeah, 18. You can read it here, but if you guys were wondering, you can, um, pretty sure you can turn tool, if you want to know how to have that, you just turn tool hint, uh, hints on, and then I think that's how you see how many cards are left in your deck like that, instead of having to look up here. Let's see. Oh, yes. Waste, he has to waste so many energies. And is this even a knockout? Oh, it is. What, he had a muscle band, right? That's why. Oh, but he... I don't know, but he's behind on the prize trade, and he's deck. He's about. He's gonna deck out before me on another DC. Combi, and I'm probably if he knocks me out next turn with his backup, I'm probably gonna have to Sycamore and try to dig for a Vespa Queen. But that's not that big of a deal. I'm probably gonna. I've deck out before him, but hopefully I can take all my prizes before that. Because these are my last prizes right here. Two prizes and one prize right here. And that's my three prizes. Cards I need. So, let's see what he sends up. He might send up the Shaman if he's so hesitant. Because maybe he doesn't have a DC. And how many... I think he only... He only used one, right? Yeah. Right? Let me make sure. Oh, he used two Fairy. And a DC. So it's probably all his. Okay, he did have the DC. So I am going to have to dig. So one. Two best between are in this card. That means one is left. Oh gosh, this is not good. Wait, okay, so then he's decking himself out. So I definitely can use the second one. So he's gonna still gonna deck out before me. Unknown. Be revenge. Okay. I'm gonna have to promote the combi. And hope for it because if not, he has another best kids up. Oh gosh, what being Jewish and eating at a German restaurant that's so random. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> it's like the most random thing to say. Oh, I have the vile plum. I mean, the best queen super rod is in the deck. Right? No, it's not. Gosh. This is my last attack. This is bad. Ugh. Oh, okay. Running out of attackers. And I have one more DC. This is not good. Okay. He's gonna ma try to make this as hard as he can. Okay. Let's see what's in the deck. That's my last attacker. But I have a DC and a fire. Two fires. Uh, what could I use to attack? The... <laughs> I don't know. The shamans is the only thing I can think of. Okay, best queen. I'm gonna grab that. The question is, do I item mock him? Do I go for the item mock? Okay. It's a hard decision because I... Do I need to item lock him? 
I don't think so. Mm, is it my only chance? <laughs> that I don't like myself. It's, it's risky. I don't know. Be revenge. Hopefully, I'm hoping he doesn't have the energy in hand. Or a Via Seeker for teammates. Bunnelby! Yes, that's what I needed. I forgot about Bunnelby. Yes. Then I get all my Vespa Queen back. Okay, I for completely forgot about Vespa uh, Bunnelby. So now I can get everything back. I pretty much need. I'm hoping he'll play another. Is he gonna burrow me? Oh shoot! Okay, this is gonna be a Bunnelby. Oh, yeah, I can just deck him. Oh my gosh! Yes, I win! I win! He just lost the game. I think if I get a fire energy. Oh, Rototiller. Okay, so I do not win. I forgot that he's worse. A DC. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a hard decision. Well, I could just go and try to discard both of them. <laughs> Should I? I don't want him to disc deck out me. Let's see what this unknown gives me. If it gives me a fire energy, this is pretty good. That's good. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, Pokemon, I think you do like me now. I think I... Going with the... Hmm. Do I go in with the Bunnelby and try to get rid of the cards you just Bunnelby back? That he just Rotillard back in? And then try to win that way? Because then I still have an attacker left. You know what? Okay. Okay. Let's just try to burrow him away. Oh no, that was not what I wanted to. DC, DC. Yes, DC, gone. Bam, what? Bam, bam, what? Bam, bam, what? DC, E, DC, E, gone. DC, E, gone. But I think, did he run until her two DCs back? Maybe he did. No, no he didn't. Oh wait, eventually I'm gonna win. Because he's drawing a card every turn, so I'm just gonna do this again. Because even if he is, he's drawing a card every turn. Secret. Oh, dang it. That is a good clutch card. 1023. How much damage is he doing? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I just need to get rid of that secret ash in the DC. Let's just keep her on. Secret ash, come on. Yes, secret ash. That was the main thing. Now DC. Okay, yep, he loses. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. He lost. G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G Yes, I win. So guys, if you like this deck, please leave a like and subscribe because this deck is awesome. It's it's really good. I have a feeling this is gonna do really good regionals. Um, I don't know about like I didn't use the Entei in any of these matches, but I've had a bunch of scenarios like I could have used the Entei in this deck um, match it because I ran out of attackers. So the Super Rod would have helped if I would have got it late game. Also. I could have like Roy Tiller to back, but I just went for the Bumblebee. So this was a pretty good match. So if you guys, I told us already, like and subscribe. Uh, so peace, guys. Real TGD signing out.